throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Someone's dashing for control. Damn it! This won't leave my hand again. What the? Stop! She needs for the loyalty to me. Damn the Duke of Sarkonos. I'll kill you for that! Traitors. Got your orders. Spread out and find the future. Hey! Oh, no! no! Oh, oh, ah! Come on, let's finish this. Hey, you! Come here! What are you waiting for? from monsters like you in my empire. Now to find Aramis Stilton. Where do you think you're going?
Nothing here! Look out with you! You and me now! Look, Spittles. At least I'm not one of them. Exactly. Something. How do you know it'll get to you? I don't look... Trust you with all you know. Oh, Emily, Emily, who are they? <laughs> We experimented on people during the plague. should trap her in her own fantasy world. At last, what I've always deserved, my justice. Now, what's always been marred and distorted will be perfect. I've waited so long. Sing my songs and lick my flesh. Worship me! Sit down. I'll explain it all. With the fall of Luca the Bell, the Duke's line ended, and there was only one man ruthless enough to take the Grand Palace. Fighting his way up from nothing, none of his enemies were around to oppose the bloody Duke, Corvo Atano. Without ever realizing it, Delilah was trapped in an imagined world where her father's lies were undone and her subjects would bow to her forever, as she sailed into war with her great armada and trekked across the Pandisian wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with Corvo Atano's support from the south. <laughs> 